Greetings gamers, you're watching Darth Stain Games with me, Nurgle45. Today we're taking a look at Battlestar Galactica Starship Battles. Right, first and foremost about Battlestar Galactica, they have stopped producing it now, so get out there, get yourself a copy before it's too late. Let's take a look inside this box now. And this is all packed up really well. This is a great box for storage. As you can see, I've opened this up before previously to have a few uh, run-throughs. And this is what we're here for. The miniatures. Check out this Viper. Absolutely wicked. Take a look at the Cylon Raider. Sick. And you just uh, pop the ships on one of these stands here. The stands have actually got two or three height adjusters, but uh, I'm only using the basic rules, so there's no need for that. Might go into an, uh, a full rules video a bit later. Look at that. Each one of the ships has got one of these mega cool control panels. It's got speed on the right hand side, altitude top left, kinetic energy on the bottom and facing on the big dial. And the IP in the bottom right there. Battlestar Galactica. Let's uh, pop that back in here and have a look what other goodies are underneath. We've got the rules book here. I have only, as I said before, gone through the basic rules. But no doubt I'll get it, uh, through the proper ones when I get some more playing buddies. Plenty of asteroid belts to crash into. You can see I haven't popped any of these out yet. Little scenario book. Couple of pages in here, nothing too, uh, nothing too complex. Oh, well done, well done, what was that? Deadlock. Edit. This is one of the best games you're going to play on the Switch. End edit. Got some manoeuvre cards here. There's a deck for each ship. Here's the Raiders. And the Viper's got its own deck as well. Note these cool cut-off corners. And these have just got different manoeuvres on the back. And a fake card as well, just to throw your opponents off. A Pew Pew Ruler. There's two of these. Two-sided as well. You get a set of these randomizer cubes. You'll see a lot more of these in board games. And some cards here, skill cards or something. As I say, I haven't got this far into the game yet. But I do know that there is Colonials on one side and Cylons on the other. These are the ship cards. So to show the stats of all your um, your ships. Each ship's got a different one of these. You get a couple for the Vipers and a couple for the Raiders. Let's have a look at the Raiders. Pretty cool the art on these, but the IP is amazing, so you couldn't really go wrong. 
Also a pilot car, there's Apollo. And there's a couple of Cylon pilots here with different uh, different two hit modifiers. So there's, there's good, you can adapt it to whoever's playing. You can make it a bit harder for your opponent, a bit easier for your opponent. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Firstly, you're going to select your ship and attach it to the base template with your ship and a little arrow facing towards the zero. This is forward. Each ship also has an ID tag on the base, so get the corresponding marker and clip it to one of the ridiculously cool control panels. Each ship has to have its own control panel. Next, you want to take each ship's specific manoeuvre deck and place it with the relevant spaceship cards next to the control panel. Then you take your Pew Pew ruler and your randomizer cubes and you pop them down next to your control panel. Then you've got some damage tokens, you pop them in a cup, preferably one you can't see through but I'm on my own so it doesn't really matter. And then you get your ship cards, not going to bother with the pilots here. Planning is done by choosing what speed you are going to travel by using the speed slider on the right hand side of the control panel. This speed will dictate how fast you can manoeuvre and the speed change can never be more extreme than the ship's acceleration. In this step, you will also choose a manoeuvre card to show where your ship is going. An overboost card can be added and placed before the normal manoeuvre card, as long as the G-Force rating doesn't total more than 4. G-Force ratings are in these little blue hexagonals. Certain cards are classed as a difficult manoeuvre card. If you play a difficult manoeuvre card, you cannot play one in the next round. Only a straight overboost card can be used with a difficult manoeuvre. And dummy cards can be used to throw your opponent off. Once you've chosen your card and you've set your speed, keep it all secret, put them face down on the table. Place the chosen manoeuvre cards as you intend to fly. Put the yellow start point of the speed you are travelling on the forward arrow of the ship's base. Now follow the flight, flight plan so as the rear number one on the base is placed at the end arrow. They're squared off so they should fit in pretty cool. Now slide the manoeuvre cards out of the way and put them back in the deck to be used again. To fire, you must be in range. Check the range on the Pew Pew ruler and apply the modifiers. The red area is short range, so you add one to your dice roll. Orange is medium, so no uh, modifiers. And light brown is long range, so you're at minus one. You also, everyone has got to be in your ship's firing arc. So if you check this uh, arc here, you can see that this radar is in the firing arc. Each ship has an attack rating that you can find on the bottom left of their uh, ship's card. Now you've got to beat that rating with two dice. 
and take into account any range modifiers. You can see here that's an easy hit. So we randomly take one of these damage tokens. And that's got a 4 on, so that ship has taken 4 damage, which you keep secret from your enemy. And then once your ship has taken its full structural damage, you are gone. There's a few more damage uh, tokens. You can get ones, if you have a look at here, you can see it's got a plus in the top left corner. That means draw another one and add that damage to it as well. You only do this once. And there you have it, Battlestar Galactica, Starship Battles, the basic rules. If you're quick enough, you can get some more ships and expand this, but don't hang around because when it's gone, it is gone. Like and subscribe, I'll see you all soon, and have a Merry Christmas.